Can a last will and testament be handwritten? Simple question. I want to write my last will and testament by scroll. There is a by scroll. whole subset of law about uh, this. It's called holographic wills. If you can show that this was that person's handwriting, then it that helps prove that it's valid. Gotcha. Um, and, and that was especially important back before things like computers. Yes. Right? Um, back when you couldn't type something right it had to be handwritten right um most states now you you can do a holographic will but it still has to follow all the same formalities that you would have to do for a type will yes so, what would some of those formalities like, be? Like two, like two witnesses so in georgia gotcha. two witnesses that are disinterested exactly because they're not inheriting under the under the will yeah so so it used to be if you, you could write your own will and sign it and you wouldn't need any witnesses you wouldn't need anything like that you could just stick it in your safe and then they find it like, oh yeah, this is this is this is Bob's handwriting, and he signed it. This is his will. It's a holographic will. Yeah. But but now they, they don't do that as much. Wasn't yeah. there a story about? It was like a lumberjack, maybe. Yes. It was, it was and, in Canada, yeah, and the tree my, fell. The tree fell on him, and he carved his will, his will into, into the, the tree. tree. And he carved his will into the tree as he died, and it was that's upheld. sick. The court yeah. they literally hacked the part of the tree trunk off and brought it into the court. That guy was a badass. That's yeah, super cool. That's crazy. He that's left everything cool. to his wife, I believe. Do I need to worry about flowery language, or can I just write like I want my house to go to my kids? Flowery language is not necessarily required. Like if you have a nominated executor. Uh, awareness of who your family is and a decided distribution of your property. I mean, that technically meets all of the things with the caveat that any ambiguity will be filled in by state law. Yeah, like okay. some of that language is done, I think, to make it a little bit more like memorable and kind of like kind of really bring to mind how serious it is. Mm -hmm. But most of that is just to be super inclusive to make sure that you're covering all your bases yes. so that your will is going to be valid and upheld and it's going to do what you want it to do. Yes. Most people, gotcha. people are like, why can't my will be a page? Or like, you can make it a page, but you're going to make it a real pain for your executor. Yeah. So a, a re, a, a, an average basic will is probably between four and seven pages. From, we're really between maybe three to seven pages for most people if you mm -hmm. want to cover all the things you need to cover. If the heirs are kind of cool with it, like uh, a handwritten one-page deal or even an email seems like it's probably oh, wait, okay. All, the, all your heirs are agreeing okay, to it but... is makes a lot of things go better. Courts are happy to accept whatever agreement the heirs have made and put it into force. Mm -hmm. If the parties are happy, then they're happy because that's one fewer case for the court to hear. Right. Um, so if you, if you if you don't think anybody's going to fight, but you probably should still get a will, is, will. You're planning for the unexpected. Yeah. Like you, you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know where it's going to be. You know, you don't know by the, by the time that you pass, right, you don't know if the people you think are going to be your, your heirs are going to be your heirs. True. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if somebody's died before you, it's going to go down their line through their kids or it could go back. It, it, it spreads quickly. And then you yes. jump on your Facebook stalking. And then train. I talk to the Mormons and they talk and then to once people a boy, are. Yes. Yes. And then the <laughs> yeah. Mormons get involved and you don't want that. Because <laughs> because for people who haven't listened to the beginning of the episode, the Mormons have yeah. this really cool genealogy yes. network. Yeah. Yes. Guys, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, let us know. Post a comment. Guys, we went to the trouble of creating you a fantastic PDF listed in the description of this video. It is a summary of the key mistakes to avoid when planning for your estate. Um, you can go get that. Steven and James both wrote it together, and it is a summary of all of the mistakes they've seen people make as they think about estate planning. Don't make those mistakes. Your family is the ones that's going to pay for it, and they're not going to like you very much. So that's how you go and avoid them. Click the link in the description. You can get that PDF. It's absolutely free. You're welcome. We're so generous. <laughs> Guys, thanks so much for watching. If you would like us to plan your estate, give us a call 404-939-7562 or visit us on the web, modernestateplanning.com. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.